Right, this is Wednesday's race. I like to do the Omnium Wednesdays, but it's real intense. I didn't feel I was up to zone seven today, so I'd like to do zone five instead. These are, I'm calling it Angry Bots, but that's just having some fun with the name, I'm testing the new aggressive bot setting. I liked it last time uh, in this course. I did one lap number two. Upping the ante by making it a matchmaking event. So instead of just having a broad range of bots and a few that are at the front that are really, really strong, now there'll be 50 of them at my level. So I don't know what to expect. I, I could easily be dropped way, way back entirely. This may never be published. Um, so two laps of the coastal route, 33.1 kilometer, 84 meters climbing. Just a scratch race, similar to what I did last time, except for using the normal range ability matchmaking. So 50 bots. I'm usually in pen one. That's should I expect they'll be pen one level bots. Mercifully, a two kilometer neutral zone, fairly easy start to give everybody a flying start at the two kilometer mark. Um, and there's the there's the description. Just threw it up there. It's it's unranked, so there's no risk. To, to my ranking, just my pride. Uh, everyone's welcome. It's a public event, but I only put it up half an hour ago, so not many people will see it. Let's jump in the race. We've got performance verification on, just kind of standard. Um, looks like my sensors are connected. Let's jump in the pen. Get ready. Oh, lovely sunset back there. I like when that, that timing works. Let's see, three minutes to go. Just in case anybody saw it. No, it looks like I'm the only one. That's kind of what I expect. I only threw it up there 20 minutes ago. So with the aggressive bots, they are designed to attack more and more often and harder, longer attacks. So it's a lot of fun last time. I eventually got dropped. I, they just blew me away at the end, but I hung in there for quite a while. Not a few of us did, so it was kind of fun. We had several of us jumped in last time. I was listening to Brian Kellison's Spincast podcast the other day, and uh, Jorn was... John Osmerich was being interviewed and said something really interesting about the bots. I always assumed the bot AI was designed to make them more and more human-like. He said that's not necessarily the case, that uh, elite riders want to be challenged more than humans might challenge them, so at least have the option to have things like these aggressive bots. Can you imagine match to elite riders, how hard it pushes them. Makes it some more fun training. So that, that was interesting. We always, I think most of us assumed the AI was there to seem as human as possible. Which some of that will be true, but not necessarily. That's why it's nice to see these options, more and more options coming up. You can really tune these events by picking the course that you like and the bot options you like. Anytime you want, you don't have to wait for a race, you're in an unpopular time zone, or with not a lot of racing, you can set up your own, make it as hard as you want. So, great for training. I still like racing humans too, of course. It's so nice to have a mix. Alright. One minute. We're all on the pen. So this time there's seven pens. I don't think anybody will sign up, so it'll just be me and Pen One with these 49 bots. Um, Gerald, Barker, we know. I don't recognize a lot of the other ones. I'm all the way down at 20th. Here's the top top ranks are. A lot of new ones I don't know. We're having to get to know the. Oh, Rock Ingram is there. Well, oh, geez. And he's even ninth, so. Uh, we, we know our favorite bots, the ones we try to follow. Try to mark the wheels of the top rank box. That's predicted finish today. Didn't always play out that way. So I'm in 20th. It's not ranked, but it was. 
beat that position, I would likely get some points. Um, I haven't been 20th in a race in quite a while, so this is going to be very intense once uh, once we get past the neutral zone. It's pretty mellow. It's like 240 to 260 watts. The pacer. It's not too bad. Give you one more chance to get rewarmed up. Give everyone a flying start. I didn't used to like the neutral zone on road races, but now that it's power based, I actually like it a lot. In most cases. Except for descents, you can still run into problems. You can't pass the pacer bot or else you get braked, knocks your way back, so you don't want to mess around with that. So it's a 70 kilogram pace bot, wrapping up to 260. So just giving us a Good time to get warm and ready. Last time the attacks were sustained, they just in regular bots they'll Usually, uh oh, we lost a bot. You know, usually uh, two bots already. Nope. Never mind, I guess he's still there. Um, they'll usually attack for a while. If you can just stay in their draft, hang on, it's slow. But boy, the last time. They just didn't slow down. And eventually they popped us. Alright. Gotta be ready. As soon as the white flares come up, we'll be our cue. Move up a little bit. Should be back here. Here we go. Alright. Just where I don't want to be. There's Brock. So I'm not going to chase the... I can't chase them all. A lot of them will be brought back. And I sure can't outrun these guys. But Brock is a famous bot, we all know. Try to stick in here. Put first person camera. So I can get smarter about the draft. You'll see some attacks early and often. No significant climbs here to split things up. Perfectly fine sitting right up here.
Wow, 20 seconds. So a little break. He wasn't one of the runs I recognized as the top. I don't remember seeing in the list, but that's what power he's doing. In 350s. So he could well be a light rider. This is what Gerald's doing. 350, 30. So you can see a lot of them doing around 350. You can compare that to me back in the, shamelessly in the draft. Should have made this one lap. Yep, there goes someone. Recognize that name. See if that makes the group react. There goes another. There's no way I can catch these wheels. See my draft bar is full, that's good. No, nope. no it's not, that's bad. Let's see what that attack is. It's 370, that attack's going at 600, 468. Elias has sped up a little. see why my level I can't follow them I'm hoping for a group that just picks up the pace There's more and more. I'll have to try at some point. Go with. Maybe on the descent after the split. Pull back a few seconds. So the split road up ahead, random, I don't know which will go which way. It's Brock ahead without the helmet, I can just stay on his wheel, it'll be a good day. So I'll have to choose in a minute, high or low, I like high, just because a little descent at the end you can use to catch up.
And we're back down to 22 seconds. It's got a group of two. It'll be faster. It's likely. Might do a little work on the descent if I can. To see if we can close the gap a little bit. Wish I could do that. Still got 25k, so... I'm going the high road, hope they do. The good ones. I've got a group of... All right, at least Brock went this way. A little bit of work. See the other bots. Sure, not going to do a lot. doing 388 391 so like I said hang on to Brock it's a really good day it's really hard to split the field when they're single when there's a match then that guy and spur them too and I see he's bettered me on the right move over Let's see if I can catch his wake that's what they do though Partly attack and then move over. I couldn't hold him. I don't want to lose Brooke. I want to get as close as I can, not half willing. Wow, group of six, they're gone. I'm in the back group. All right, we've got a little, little gap. Let's see if I can do a tiny bit of work.
There comes a bot. <laughs> I thought he was coming to help us. Got right by. All right, Brock has actually closed the gap a little bit. It's always tactical with bots. They're all different every race. I just don't know, which is great. Back to 22 seconds. Wow. The leader took off. I think we're still catching the group ahead, though. About 11 seconds. The group behind us. Man, as if I'd been paying attention. I'm used to them coming up and then sitting on. Aggressive ones keep going. That's awesome. That speed. Here comes one. Might try speed up ahead of time. Catch him. Oop. There goes Sprock. Pretty hot bike room today. A little difficult. Okay. Here comes this Japanese rider. I'm gonna try if this goes. Very slow. <laughs> That's funny. I picked the wrong one. Right idea. It comes perfect. No matter what, I can't let Brock get away. I beat him once. I think it was fine came up. No way I can beat him on the flat. You remember when you beat Brock? That was months ago. <laughs> so we're gaining on the group behind. Eighteen K left. Not quite halfway. Uh, 
I like strong winds, but didn't include it today. It's gonna be hard enough. I mean, that's the next thing I'll do. Breaks the grips up. Okay. Can't let breath go. I want to catch that group ahead. Did some of those early. There's Elias. Broke away early. Should've been paying attention. He really is the key. You never outrun him. Three eighty still sitting on his wheel. As good as it's gonna get for me. And he catches the draft. Your groups. He's so fast. Okay. First chase group now. With a single rider ahead. For the moment, one left to go. Could have made it one. Well. Three ninety five. Brock was just getting warmed up. Actually, easier into a headwind. Make it slower, but your draft gets better. Or the tailwind. Draft cone is smaller. Draft wake. Never really careful. 
It's late midnight. Not too big a deal. Team Caleb. Yeah, there come some attacks. There'll be more. I'm just gonna stick to Brock. I'm not sure where the Chinese writer is. He was ranked one. Didn't see him. Didn't recognize the name. And I was ranked 20th, so pretty happy with where I am. These guys are doing 367, 28. What that attack looks like 630 or 68. These guys will sprint insanely hot. Right, twice my power. So at the end, I'll try to watch some bots. Instead of me. Where's Brock? <laughs> Serious. Did you get away? Ah. Oh. Where is he? Oh, I thought he got away. I guess that's the problem with this camera. My draft so much better. I like. Two riders ahead. They're going slower. The split road divide this group in half. Fifteen of us. Gotta hope I pick right. Takes luck. Pick correctly. Pick the high road again. 
No sprinters. These are tough. Alright, seven seconds behind group of two. There will definitely be some more attacks. I'm going to go pretty hard on the split road, just defensively, really. I can't outrun these guys. We'll just go just to hopefully not get gapped. See which way Brock goes. Just went this way. Just a little bit, again, more defensively. I think we're going to gap those guys, but we don't want to miss it if we do. Eight K left. Try to outrun, bro. Got to hold him. We didn't drop anybody there. So hard in pin one. And also similar. Doing 380. 7K to go. Sprack. No way. Come on, guys. Do it. Ah. No way. You do it. Doing five seventy. Yeah. 
Hey, before I might have slowed down, I gotta catch these guys. All right, see. Catching a little bit. Thank Nope. Back out. Ah, load a little bit. 420, 365, 377, 341, 355. These aren't even attacks. That's great. Regular bots would need to sit in a lot. Be much more zone 3. So, this is as hard as a really, really strong human race. We can. 16 seconds now. Catch box finish from the bots instead of mine. That'll be more interesting for you guys. I'm the slowest rider in the last 1k for sure. Okay. 
Ah, uh, poor Brack. <laughs> no, they're splintered. See the spinners. Huh? They're not sprinting. Sorry. Interesting. So it looks like. Maybe it's just because, uh, oh, I know Jackie Ventura, but to beat that one, so this is different than the first one. The first one we had just monster sprints. I had a single pin. Oh, here we go. 1700. <laughs> so we got to do a 90. 1500 watts. Let's check the speeds. <laughs> 97. There we go. But they're at the back. That's interesting. So they got gapped on the, the TT bots. Stayed back there. <laughs> Did their sprint thing. It's fascinating. Ray's done. <laughs> well, too bad I didn't make it. I guess I couldn't make it ranked. Beat my expectations, so I can't complain about that. All right, that was that was interesting. So my takeaway from that, let me turn off the fan, is that best aggressive bots are are great to really push your limits. That was much harder than I. If this had been a normal race, I would have been about twenty watts, fifteen watts less probably. You can do a lot of zone three, sometimes zone two, sitting in and waiting for attacks. But th there was just much more relentless. I picked the right wheel and following Brock, you got beat at the end. But it pays to know your bot. That's why we spend a lot of time sharing notes. We tease about it, but you really do get to know the bots, and it's real important. You got to know which wheel to follow. So anyway, it was great. I'll definitely do that again. I think I'm afraid to try the climbs. Not you know, a climber. I'm going to wait for climbers to tell us how that goes. But uh, I thought it was great. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of the aggressive bots when you really want to. You really want to push. So it's it's fun to dial in what you're looking for. 
Anyway, um, that's that. I'll get it posted and get to my warm down. <laughs>